then, for any of you who might be interested, this is looking north on the S&D from Horsington, one of the old bridges. It looks more like a river at the moment. It's very interesting seeing how it is at the moment. You can still distinctly see the track line, or where it used to be. And then I, there are people that are hoping to, you know, restore this line. Uh, it goes to the other side. We've got, looking south, I believe, all the way right through. That's, that's heading towards Semplecombe. So, the other way, heading towards Wincanton. Um, when the water dies down, I might be able to go and get some ground shots of this bridge. I've walked along this path a few times, but as you can see, as we've had such a lot of snow and rain for the past year or so, <laughs> um, you know, good old Britain, you know, it's not very easy. I mean, it's just a paved road it goes over it. But yeah, here's a squelch around. It's very, you know, there's hardly anybody that lives around here. Got a few people I know. Further up there, there is a house. Used to be, is it the level crossing guardsman person? Um, and it's quite interesting. You can distinctly see this pretty much all the way up to when you hit a road or an estate. You can see this line. As you go on Google Earth, you can see it very well. So, yeah, you know, this is where Seven S would run, Pines Express. You know, all of the nice ones. This is, you know, at Temple Coombe, Southern Railway crossed it. And it was a nice railway. You've got a decent yard down at Temple Coombe, sadly now shut. You've got people restoring this line at, you know, Midsummer Norton, Shillingston, people are restoring, and a few other places. Midford and Spetsbury, near, near a bath. So, yeah, the Pines Express would run from. Manchester all the way down to Bournemouth along this route that runs quite close to my house and you can see where it used to run from my house I'll take a video of that sometime and it's quite nice you've got you can, can you can kind of imagine it if you, if you see this it's not the best light but you can imagine trains running up and down it you can imagine it being restored actually and preserved Gartel down in Yemston looking to restore it in there two foot gauge is it? Two foot three inches or something. Very nice line, recently opened their extension. One of the first ones to go on it. So yeah, see ya.